Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be working on field on some tips for cutting. So a lot of the work we do is obviously with the ball in our hand, we're dodging, we're shooting, but some of the most deadly players I know are the best cutters and they are able to find space on the field and be able to create space for others. So there are a couple of tips that I wanna show you guys when you guys are cutting to make you not only a better teammate for creating space for each other, but getting yourself open to be able to shoot the ball, score, and put your team ahead. All right, step one for tips for cutting is to do your homework. We're not talking about schoolwork, we're talking about your homework on the field. Let's say the camera, you guys, right ahead. You're my, my teammate with the ball. Uh, the goal is to my left. I'm on basically an elbow. It's really hard to catch a ball with your hips going towards the person who passed it to you and then have to turn 90 degrees to be able to get your hips towards cage. So we wanna do what's called a C cut where we're able to get our hips around so that even though I can still catch a ball from the elbow, my hips are facing the cage. So as soon as I catch, I'm able to explode towards cage. It's just a nice, simple little movement. Doesn't have to be a giant C. That's gonna gain notice of your defender. We just want a simple, almost two-step, right? Hips, shoulders in line with the cage. I can still catch anywhere from the elbow, making my cut and my release a lot faster. So step one of that is C cuts for cutting. Step two, depending on where the ball is, right? Tip two is, depend, is going to depend where you ask for the ball. Your defender also dictates that. So if I'm somebody, let's say my defender's behind me right now, I don't wanna ask for the ball out here because that's gonna get back checked. So we're looking to ask for the ball either more in front or even out in front like this to be able to catch curl and stay protected if my defender is on my side i'm able to get my hands free a little bit more make my target more to the side so that as i'm catching i'm protected we don't just want to think about our cuts and our feet when we're cutting we want to make sure we're thinking about our stick too finding the angle that's going to help us not only catch the ball but then be able to be a threat with the ball and finally Step three for cutting or tips for cutting is all about your timing. You wanna make sure that you're timing your cut so that if we time it too early and we cut before the person's ready, we're gonna miss the ball completely. If we cut too late, we could be defended, have somebody marking us by the time that the person throws the ball. We wanna make sure that we're cutting at the moment where we can catch on the move, have a cradle or two, and be able to shoot. A lot of that has to be dictated by the chemistry that you have with your teammates, knowing what they're going to do before maybe you, they even know it themselves. So timing your cuts, we obviously wanna be able to have time to get a cradle in if we can, but most importantly, we wanna make sure we're not smushing ourselves to our, our friends, to our teammates. I don't wanna be on top of my teammate as I'm cutting because a, a four foot pass doesn't do much. We want to time it so you have room to catch, get your hips, and shot. So timing, C cuts, and protecting your stick are three things that you can do every single time you cut to help you be a lethal cutter and be a lethal finisher.